Welcome to Chef Alley's Farm Fresh Kitchen. Join us as we meet from the land of Kansas members and explore new recipes using local Kansas ingredients and products. It's Thursday morning. That means we're in Chef Alley's Farm Fresh Kitchen today. We're featuring mm -hmm. uh, a cake, something near and dear to my heart. We've got an Easter looking cake over here we're going to talk about. This uh, segment is from, from the land of Kansas and it's yeah. kind of a special month for from the land of Kansas, it right? It is. Uh, Governor Brownback has declared January as from the land of Kansas mm -hmm. month. And as you know, Kansas Day is coming up January 29th. Mm -hmm. So that cake that you just referred to as my Easter cake is yeah. actually supposed to be a sunflower cake. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it kind of looks a little eastery. A little bit. It, is, it does look eastery, yeah. and that's upon us. So that's the, our sunflower cake, and that um, uses the uh, company that we're featuring. <laughs> And it uses the company <laughs> we're featuring. I, I, I was more worried about it sliding off the plate, and yet. So when you frost this cake, make for sure you whip these peeps right out, cut them apart, and press them into your frosting while it's soft. Ah. I frosted it, I drove down here, and then it set up and they wouldn't stick in. Okay. So lesson learned, all right? So the sunny seeds create the center. If you don't have sunny seeds on hand, use chocolate chips, and that actually creates the, the center of the sunflower. Okay. Now, the cool part about this is anybody can take a boring box cake mm -hmm. mix, okay, and turn it into a bakery style cake just by adding a couple extra eggs, substitute unsalted butter in place of the oil, mm -hmm. maybe even add an extra stick of butter if you want to. Oh, an extra stick. S yeah. That's significant. Yeah, it is. Um, use some homemade vanilla extract if you have that on hand, or mm -hmm. maybe some almond extract. Add that in there. Now those are the extra ingredients. You can also substitute milk for the water. Mm. and that will also help make it more moist. Now, Grandma Lucille always schooled me on this, and she said there are two pieces of equipment you have to have to have a super moist cake. Okay. They are very common to our kitchen. A piece of parchment paper, okay, okay that whoops, that we're gonna have in the bottom of our cake pan that we spray yeah. with nonstick there spray. Uh -huh. Okay, now why is that important? So you pop because it right out, huh? when it comes out of the oven, look, it pops right out of the pan, you just peel this off and proceed. Oh, that was easy. Okay, now when your cake comes out of the oven, here is the very most essential thing. If you do nothing but this one thing, if you don't even put the extra ingredients in, but you do this one thing, when your cake comes right out of the oven, you grab a big piece of tin foil and you put it over the top of your hot cake, take a tea towel, lay that over your foil, just like this, and this is so that you can press this down tightly, because remember this is super hot, uh -huh. and that heat will come right through that foil. So that's why I say use that tea towel and press that tightly down. And then you do nothing except wait for that cake to cool off. So what happens? All that heat forms condensation and guess where it goes? Right back in the cake. Perfect. So it's extra moist when you slice it. Okay, you that's have these, the deal. Do you, have, do you have these tips online so we can... Yes, uh, I do. Go to chefalleys.com, click on recipes, and you will find everything here, including the frosting uh, that we're going to make for sure is soft okay, next time okay. when Chris Fisher and that tips is, my cake. That is the key, and I, I will never tip your cake <laughs> Don't again, Don't tip Allie. my cake. And they can go uh, to a special website if they want to pick up yeah. some of these sunny seeds, right? Yes. If you go to, um, let's see, it's uh, 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 the market marketplace mm -hmm. at fromthelandofkansas.com, you can order these online and have them shipped right to your door. Very nice. Yeah. Allie, thanks so much. Happy Kansas Day. All right, we'll be right back. <laughs> Make sure to tune in the second and fourth Thursday of every month to meet more From the Land of Kansas members. Remember, visit FromTheLandOfKansas.com to explore and find Kansas foods, products, and services.